There's a magical light show happening in our oceans 24 seven. Want to see it? To get there, we've got to head deep within our seas to the so-called midnight zone. So what are you waiting for? Grab your goggles, let's go deep sea diving in my bedroom. At these eerie depths of well over three times the height of the Eiffel Tower, there's some dazzling otherworldly creatures. Check out these cool comb jellies, looking like they're ready to rave. Nope, they haven't been eating too many Skittles. That's me that's been doing that. They're actually super colourful because of two reasons. They've got this amazing flash of multicoloured lights which run the entire length of their body. And this is due to thousands of teeny weeny hair-like structures called cilia. Now these are small, they're about two millimetres in length and they're grouped together in long thin rows. So they look like a comb. And this is how the comb jelly got its name. So these are the cilia and it's grouped together like this. And now there's eight of these distributed evenly around the comb jelly's body. And they sort of act like oars because they help propel the comb jelly through the water. And this is where the magic happens because light is coming in and being reflected in all different directions off of these cilia. And that's how we see this pulsating rainbow-like Mexican wave of colours. The other way they look so flashy and fabulous is because most species of comb jelly actually make their own light. And this beautiful phenomena is known as bioluminescence. So the light we see and use every single day, like a torch, is created by something called incandescence. And this is where heat is generated and through heat we get light. So if I put my fingers to the light bulb of this torch, I can already feel a little bit of heat radiating out. And so unsurprisingly, incandescence is a really inefficient process because it uses massive amounts of energy to create the light. And then also a lot of it is lost as heat to the surrounding area. But bioluminescent animals use something far more efficient and wonderful. So most comb jelly species emit a green or a blue light and they do this by a little bit of chemistry. So in their cells, they mix these chemical compounds Not like that. They've got a far better way of mixing chemical compounds in their bodies to create a natural glow, much like a glow stick. And because heat is neither required nor created, this uses far less energy than incandescence. Now there's a reason behind these amazingly hypnotic colors whether it's finding a meal or impressing a mate. Ooh la la! They use these colors to their advantage to stun or to distract prey. And some species of comb jelly even emit what looks like a fabulous, amazing, wonderful unicorn puff of glittery smoke, just like that. <laughs> that was with pure vengeance. Bioluminescence is one of nature's most remarkable spectacles. And it's something that scientists are still learning loads about. With so much of the ocean unexplored, who glows? I mean, who knows what other amazing bioluminescent creatures there's yet to discover? Oh, one last thing. Sea jellies have the nickname of sea snot because they feel like a big, Sloppy bogey. Yuck!